What's up, Wayne and Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are once again inside of Photoshop, and we are once again working with shadows. And as you can see, we have a shadow here at the bottom of our toaster, and this is what it looks like without the shadow, and with the shadow. So that's what we're going to be doing, so let's go ahead and jump into it, create a new composition, 800 by 600, click OK. Let's come over here and grab a hold of our toaster, and as you can see, we've already got our toaster, uh, uh, cut out of its original white that it had and it also had a shadow on it as well that was originally on the actual toaster itself picture and so but we removed everything so that we can actually create our own shadow let's go ahead and drag it into our new comp the first thing that we want to do is that we want to copy a selection from our toaster. And how we do that is that, uh, well, we're going to copy and create a new layer with it. So how we do that, come over here to the Marquee Tool. And we're going to come over about right up in here. And then we're just going to select an area. And since we don't need our footing, so we're just going to stop it about right up in there. We don't need to go all the way to the back either. So we're going to stop right there. And then hitting Control or Command J on a Mac, you can see right here how we were able to cut out just that selection of our toaster and create a new layer with it. Now let's take our layer and drop it down here, and we're going to rename this to Shadow. So we have our toaster and we have our shadow. Come over here and choose the selection tool, and now we can use our arrow keys to move down and to about right up in there. So the next thing we want to do is that we want to change our color of our um, our toaster here from the blue to a black. So first thing to do is that hit the D key to change it to black and white and then hit Alt, Shift, Backspace or Option, Shift, Backspace on the Mac to change it to black. So let's go ahead and drop it back down over here and grab the eraser tool and let's go ahead and oops that's just a little bit too soft so let's choose a harder brush here let's go ahead and get that about right Okay, all right, so now the next thing we want to do is come over here to our opacity. We want to drop it down to about 20 or so. All right up in there looks good. Now I come over here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then we've already got this set at 4.4, and that looks pretty good to me, so I'm actually going to leave it right there. So, showing it. And that leaves a nice little shadow up underneath our toaster, which almost resembles the actual shadow from the picture. So that's basically the way that we want it to look. Let's come back over here to my original. I mean, I've actually got it darker, and it does not look as good. This one actually looks better. We're going to bring up our opacity just a little bit here. Not much, about right up in there. Let's come over here with the eraser tool. We're going to choose a softer brush, bring down the size a little bit. We're going to remove some of this. And that looks pretty good right there. So that is how we add a shadow to the bottom of an object. So we, the first one we did was adding a shadow to a person. And now in this one, we added a shadow to an object. Okay, Wayne Baron here with DarkFix.net. Y'all have a rockin' rest of Christmas night. Bye-bye.